Let's go over the Star Wars franchise when it comes to Supreme Leader Snoke in Star Wars The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi and even before those two movies. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, in case you guys didn't know, I really do love the character of Supreme Leader Snoke and that was one of my big, you know, disagreements with The Last Jedi is how he was killed off so early on in the sequel trilogy. Ryan John Johnson's, you know, way of doing this was, of course, to move the character of Ky Kylo Ren forward into becoming Supreme Leader Ren by the time the events of Star Wars Episode Nine arrives. However, today I wanted to go over seven things that you may not know about Supreme Leader Snoke that I personally find very intriguing, and the first one being, of course, is that Andy Serkis explains that Snoke's hatred of the Resistance goes by what has happened to him personally. Now this raises a ton of questions as to exactly what really happened to Supreme Leader Snoke personally that made him have a hatred against the Resistance. This tells me that maybe he was quite possibly a politician that knew of Leia and maybe his way of getting back at Leia was turning her son to the dark side of the Force. Big possibility for sure. The second one is that Snoke's aggression and anger is contained and restricted by that physicality of his, how his body is twisted like a corkscrew. So all of those feelings are all contained and restricted solely because of exactly how he is physically. In case you guys didn't know, you know, without the golden robes, his whole entire body is twisted like a corkscrew. The third reason, of course, about Supreme Leader Snoke's and the whole entire concept of his backstory, alright? Snoke's backstory is actually decided by Lucasfilm, believe it or not. Circus knows it, and in an EW article, he states, I've been asked to not shed anything about it. Should we want to bring him back in any way, whether in a prequel or whatever? Now, let me stop right here for a second, because this, to me, would make a great prequel trilogy for the sequel trilogy, which I would honestly call a intercool trilogy. In case you guys have no idea what an intercool trilogy is, it's essentially a set of three Star Wars, you know, movies set within between two other trilogies. So I think that this would be great if you had Snoke on board of his supremacy ship and his previous apprentices. And in case you guys didn't know, Snoke actually did indeed have several other apprentices before Kylo Ren. Moving on to number four, his facial scars and all these different deformities on his face were inspired by World War I injuries from trench warfare. So, if you guys look at images of trench warfare during the events of World War I, Ryan Johnson and crew actually used that as an inspirational piece of Supreme Leader Snoke's deformities and his scars and everything that happened to him before the events of The Force Awakens. Number, number five, of course, is Luke and Snoke actually met once remotely while seeking the truth of the Force. Again, this is another thing that I think could very well be used in either a movie that features Supreme Leader Snoke once again, or even a whole entire trilogy that serves as a prequel trilogy to that of the sequel trilogy, where you do get to see and learn exactly how Snoke and Luke Skywalker met visually, remotely, and mentally. That would be very interesting for sure. Number six, the supremacy remained undetectable by anyone because Snoke left it in the unknown regions, next to a star. The radiation from the star makes their signal and location masked. So essentially, the Resistance and anybody around the galaxy could never find the headquarters of the First Order while they were secretly trying to build up the First Order before they were able to use Starkiller base against, you know, the Hosnian system and destroy everybody and everything. So that was their way of remaining undetectable, is that Snoke kept this massive ship in the unknown regions by a star, and the radiation of that star masked their signal and their location. Now the final one, number seven, that I want to go over is pretty intriguing to me, is that Snoke believes that sentiment is a flaw in each Skywalker. With Vader saving the sun, Luke the Jedi Master retreating and vanishing after his failure, and he actually saw this in Kylo Ren and once thought about killing him 
during the events of The Last Jedi. Now that actually comes from The Last Jedi novelization. Surprisingly, Snoke at one point in the movie thought about killing Kylo Ren when he learned more and more about the character of Rey. But once he saw that Kylo Ren was eventually starting to push through the light once more, he decided to have more faith in his apprentice. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about all of these things about Supreme Leader Snoke in the comments section, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.